This is a box of stuff I picked up from Steven today. It has my passport. <laughs> a set list from one of the shows he came to that Jasper bit a bite out of. It has a draw, a really crappy drawing I did because once I started I hated it and stopped doing it. I probably could have made something out of it, but of Mount Michaela. This is a drawing I did in Hawaii. <laughs> And there's, oh my gosh, my water bottle's pissing, pissing, oh my gosh, okay, well, now I'm wet. There's Stephen getting them to keep right in Um, that time I decided I was going to draw my own tarot cards and then remembered I couldn't draw and immediately stopped. <laughs> don't know why you want, thought I would want that. I think he kept it. I think this is his box of memories of us. And now he's just giving it to me with my passport in it to be like, oh, here's a box of your stuff. But it was actually a box of memories he was keeping for himself. And now I think he doesn't want it anymore. And he just sprinkled some of my stuff in there to be like, here's your stuff. And it really hurts my feelings because I'm like, why does he not want to keep this stuff? Like, this is my sage. Which I do not burn white sage. I literally bought that when I was like 12 and didn't know you weren't supposed to do that and like have been slowly working my way through it since. So, sorry, I got a text. I wasn't checking myself out. So, I haven't bought any in like a decade. So, please don't cancel me. Please don't hex me. And then there's a bunch of Jamaican money, which it looks like a lot, because most of them are like $500 or $100 bills, but it's like $10, so that's cool. This is a love letter from a Mormon girl to me who recently came out as gay. Um, so that really is mine, so. These are Polaroids of us at Art Walk. First Friday of the month, baby. He was selling his necklaces next to me, as I say. This is a shell that we bought with weed, and the guy already had turned it into a turtle, and then Stephen wire wrapped it. I'm gonna take it off and have my friend Molly wire wrap it now, but maybe, I don't know if I really wanna wear it. Bought it with, with a gram. A gram of weed can get you this in Hawaii. So, good to know. This definitely is mine. This is my titty lighter. And this is a candle. I have a lot of candles. I don't know why he thought I would need that one, but and I have a bunch of fortunes in here. And then he put the beads that we used to have in our hair in here. So fuck you, because that's sad. And this is definitely mine. This is my dog. And this is a picture I took. These used to hang on the ceiling of our car. This is my sister. This one time someone tipped me in a chili gift certificate, but I don't like chili, so I just kept it because I thought it was funny. That is mine. But then he has a bunch of letters that I wrote to him in here, and it makes me really sad because, like, why wouldn't you want to read this? Even if it's from your ex, I feel like, like, I keep all my stuff. I don't know, like, I, I would want him to read this. This one and a lot of other ones are letters I wrote him when he was off across, in a different state, building hiking trails and cattle fences and stuff for five weeks, over a month, and I didn't cheat on him. And I had a lot of opportunities to, and I didn't. And I'm not praising myself for all that. All I'm saying is I was right next to Steven, and he still managed to not be able to be nice to me, not cheat on me. And I went five weeks. For what? Just to be cheated on? If I knew I was going to be cheated on, maybe I would have just went for it. And then today, he also accused me of cheating on him. And then when I said I never did that, he was like, oh, right, that was my ex. I'm telling him, like, about a gig I had while he was gone. I was like, um, <laughs> I had to make Britain come over and fill our torch up because I couldn't figure it out. Uh... We've made over five. We've made over five hundred dollars so far. See, I'm so nice. He's like off doing his own thing, and I'm calling my money I'm making while he's not even there. Ours. I had a gig at Brew House. Oh, and Will pissed me off at Art Walk. So we should keep that bird you stole from him. XOXO, your hottest girlfriend. P.S. Did you know 
I used to wear your moccasins every day. I never told you that. I just remembered. That's cute. Why does he not want that? Like, I'm glad I can have it. Like, I get why he thinks I would want it, but I would be selfish and keep it. And I am going to be selfish and keep it. I'm not going to tell him, hey, it makes me sad you don't want this. Take it. I want it. I'm just angry he doesn't. <laughs> I'm still happy I have it. <laughs> this is kind of funny. Thank you for watching Chick Flicks with me, and thank you for fucking me when they make me horny. You're my best friend in the whole world. Thank you for telling me I'm pretty every morning and every night. Thank you for holding my hand and giving me cuddles. I love you with every atom. I want to spend every second of the rest of my life with you. I wasn't afraid of death, but then I met you, and now I'm afraid I might die and never meet you again in my next life. I want to raise babies and puppies and kitties and chickens and pigs and weed with you. I love you. Sweet as Stevie. That was when we were 17. <laughs> and I meant it. But now I'm glad that we don't have puppies or chickens or a baby to take care of together. Because now I see how that could have not been so great for the babies and the chickens and the puppies and the pigs. And the goats and the whatever. And one time I covered, there's a YouTube video of this if you want to watch it. I covered our walls of our house when we lived together in sticky notes that were um, all like compliments for him or different things. And I guess he put all the sticky notes in here. So here are some highlights. Today, my mom told me she's glad I'm with you because you feel a void I had since I was eight by being not just my boyfriend, but also my best friend too. And I started crying. <laughs> some of these are just like, okay because i like covered the whole house and i were trying to find the good ones thank you for showing me the growlers no thank you the growlers are hashtag canceled no thank you and like the rooms had different like they were like color coded and each one was a different thing so some of them were like compliments and like like these uh hot pink ones are like different memories that we're happy together this one's like going to pet stores together um this is like an art gallery we went to and I, I did like little drawings for these ones. Uh, making a cake and eating it with tiny forks we stole from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I would die for you. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> if we were in high school, I bet we'd win cutest couple. <laughs> I don't know about that. Our first paint date and then I drew my little camera which he also gave me and I thought I lost it. I was really confused. So I gave all my film away. Now I gotta buy more film for my camera. Thanks for getting us another plant. Let's talk about names later. You may not be wicked, but everything you do is magic. I drew a little cauldron. I'm not gonna show you, it was terrible. When we met in the middle and you jaywalked and we found Creed litter. I'm not even gonna explain that one. It sounds a lot. Sometimes I love you so much it feels like people are punching my stomach. I never want to see you hurting. I'll do anything to protect you from pain. I love your yin yang belly button. I did it wrong. Fuck, he had this belly button. It was not an in or an outie. It was literally split down the middle. It was insane. I say it like he's dead or like the belly button doesn't exist anymore. He still has it. I'm just not around seeing it anymore. Sleeping sucks without you it does sleeping sucks without anyone i was always slept with like since i was a baby and like toddler and everything like for way too long i loved sleeping with my mom and my dad up until my dad died and then i still loved sleeping with my mom and i got a new excuse to sleep with my mom because it's like dead dad privileges i get like a year of sleeping with my mom again even though i'm eight and then like fuck and I'm nine and I still want to sleep with my mom but I can't anymore but I can some nights if I have nightmares I gotta wean myself off it now and, and then by the time I turned 15 I would just like sleep with my friends platonically or like or even like 12 like and 10 really like not often because like school but like once I was old enough to have sleepovers on school nights in high school then it was like every night even platonically or if I didn't have someone to stay over then I would FaceTime someone and fall asleep on FaceTime together I need someone to sleep with and that's why I was like, oh, I can't do this. I need you to sleep with me. And apparently begged for him back, which like, no, I didn't, but whatever. Everyone has their own perspective. If cuddling was in the Olympics, you'd win gold. 
little drawing of him. And I said, you tap your glasses off because he'd be an, an athlete, so I'm not wearing, drawing you with glasses. I can't wait to travel the world with you. And I made one of the continents a dick. We did travel the world. It was all right. I've never been to the ocean, but I don't care because your eyes look like the ocean, but way prettier, and I see them every day. I used to see the ocean every day. It was all right. I love your hair. It's so pretty. This was pre-dreads. I was always an adamant not fan of the locks. So we all know this. Thank you for making me laugh. You're so funny. Thank you for cooking with me. Warped tour. This was in the memory room. What were the other rooms? I can't remember. I feel like I feel like it's like compliments and then like thank you for us and then like I don't know, memories and then I don't know. We didn't have that many rooms. <laughs> Thanks for getting high with me. Your dick game makes up for your texting game. I got around his terrible texting by just being with him constantly. And then I ended up being codependent which I've never been on someone before so it was weird I want to be the last person to kiss you ouch 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 here's a bunch of paint strips we stole because people do that and then they do stuff with them but then we never did stuff with them oh here's my graduation announcement you guys recognize these animals? They're Taylor Nicole Deans. We were friends for like a month. We're not like fighting, we're not not friends. We just like didn't end up being besties. We were mutuals on Twitter. And then when it came time for senior pictures, I was like, can I come take pictures with your animals? I don't really know what to do for my senior pictures. And she was like, yeah. And I was like, cool. And we made some YouTube videos together that never got posted. This is what Steven got me for my 18th birthday. And I won't harp on it because he already feels very bad about it. <laughs> this is a letter I wrote to him that went in a care package I sent to him with a bunch of like snacks and my hair in a locker and stuff. I love you, sweet pea. Get it? Because I got you peas. Haha. <laughs> also, I know the croutons are weird, but we were at Wendy's and someone was like, if no one takes my croutons, I'm going to throw them away. And also, don't open the locket. My hair is in there and it will props fall out. I know it's it, on a sucky string right now, but I didn't want to fuck up your chain. So just be nice about it until we can fix it Then you get, when you get home. I love you so, so, so much. I miss you more than I knew was possible. I can't wait to see you again. I hope you're having fun and making the world a better place. Sorry, I got tears on this. I put lavender on it too. <laughs> this one's cute. This one's definitely from when we were 17 because I remember it. Hey, Steven, I put extra Y's on there on the end of hey to be more sexy, winky face. Thank you for being the best boy. You're my favorite. I like your hair, pretty dreadlocks. And when you smile at me and when you say funny things, even though sometimes they are too funny. Thanks for holding my hand and doing drugs with me. I hope our SEX tonight is GR8. I am so, so excited. Smiley faces, Lex. P.S. I watch the Steven thread when I miss you. Which, if you don't know, the Steven thread... Sorry, I had a battery notification. The Steven thread is this Twitter thread that our friend Brilly made, and everyone drops videos of Steven usually sleeping, sometimes doing other things. It's really cute. And I covered it in hearts. <sighs> so this is a letter I wrote him after he was comparing me to his ex-girlfriend, which hurt my feelings, which he also did today. He accused me of cheating on him and then was like, oops, sorry, that was my ex. And he was always doing that. And I just always felt like the other woman. And I'm like, I'm not the other woman. I'm supposed to be your girlfriend, not the other woman. And you're like obsessed with your ex. Anyways, so this is what I wrote. Dear Steven, I love you so much and I will never hurt you. And that's why I get sad when I'm compared to someone who hurt you. All I want to do is love you and keep you safe like Jasper. I know you don't like when I compare you to dogs, but they're the only thing that make me near as happy as you. And just because you make me happy doesn't mean you're the only thing, but you are the most important thing to me. And I want to apologize. And I won't apologize for loving you. I know you never want to hurt me either, just like Jasper when he bites her nose in between kisses. So instead of spending any more time talking about that, I want to talk about all the things you do that I love. I love that you aren't afraid to speak your mind and stand your ground, stand up for yourself, and stand up for what you believe in. You never compromise anything about yourself for anyone, and you should never have to. You are so smart, and every time you talk, I learn something. You are strong inside and out. 
Your brain, your heart, your arms, your dick game, all of it's strong. You make me feel so safe. I feel like as long as I'm with you, nothing can go wrong. And even sometimes when it does, I know we can make it out all right. You make me laugh so much, so much that sometimes I have to tell you to not be so funny, but I never mean it. Please never stop making me laugh. Oh, and even though you're tough, you are so sweet and gentle. I love that you see beauty in little things, so I like to point at them just in case you miss them. You're very good at words. Your lyrics and poems are so well thought out and expressed. They impress me every time. It's just like reading all this stuff from when we were like 17, 18, it reminds me of how good it used to be before he ruined it. Like, I'm sorry, I want to take accountability and be like, oh, we messed up. We, Because then we could fix it together. But I'm not, I don't want to fix what he ruined. I'm tired of trying to fix what he ruined by cheating and being physically abusive. And it's scary to me. I don't feel like he is this gentle, soft, sweet person anymore. I still never want to hurt him. But I do know that he has the <laughs> capabilities of hurting me and I didn't back then. <laughs> Part of me really wishes he could have just done better. But another part of me knows I deserve someone who will do better the first time. But we're sticking out. I'm over them now, though. You don't get to hear it anymore. I'm over them. I'm over this sticky notes. This is a letter he wrote in yellow to me when he was off in Washington for five weeks. Yellow letter, yellow header. Hey, Lexi, you're sexy. I love and miss you. I can't wait to touch and kiss you. It's painful without you. My brain's full about you. We'll get through absence. Then I'll come with you and then I'll cook with you and burn incense ink to your preference because you also my favorite color sorry i left your presence <laughs> ink ink in your preference sorry i left your presence to build cattle fences in i'm gonna feel you with all five senses once we meet again my arms will be your seat again i'm glad we're girlfriends <laughs> and i hope to never leave you again i love you and you love me how did i win someone so lovely you ruined it ruined it ruined it and the worst thing in here that make that really seals the deal that he put this shit in here literally to make me cry my eyes out my wedding band for my engagement ring you can't see it it doesn't exist it's not real we were never gonna get married i'm not that stupid guys I'm not that fucking stupid <laughs>